to Ever So Sweetly. I'm so, so excited. Today we are at the 50th anniversary festival for Little House on the Prairie. I'm so excited to be here. It's freezing out. It was just raining a lot. Um, luckily the rain has stopped, but even still, like I just know this is gonna be a fantastic day. Little House on the Prairie has been just a part of my family since forever. Since I was a child, read all the books, used to watch all the shows, love Little House on the Prairie. We just got in, so we're kind of trying right now to figure out where everything is. They gave us these little pamphlets when we walked in, which has like a map of everything. So we have a map of everything as well as the times of everything that they're doing. So right now we're just trying to get a little bit situated and see exactly what it is that we're attempting to do first. They have some long lines already formed of different, you know, different things going on. Right now I'm in this long line to get some coffee because I feel like that's priority number one for me at the moment. And then I have a manual standing over there in that long line, which we think is to go see interior sets inside of a big building. So we still have to find out exactly and get a little bit oriented, but yay, we're here. All right, so I've almost made it up to get my coffee. Uh, here is the menu. They got a lot of yummy looking options and then a lot of different flavors. I think I'm just gonna go with a caramel latte though. All right, I've got my coffee. So now I feel like my day can actually start. This is so good too. Honestly, like they were super nice and this coffee tastes delicious. All right, so we're in line right now to go in and see the interior sets. But I feel like so far it's been kind of a whirlwind just getting here. There's so many different things going on. They have like pioneer demonstrations like turning butter and making candles and things like that. They have panels with cast members and information about the show. There's so much going on. So we're super excited. So far we've already seen a couple of the characters. We saw um, Almanza Wilder driving by in a golf cart. And then my mom got a good morning from, she said good morning to Willie. I rolled the actor who played Willie. And then he turned around and waved and said good morning to her. So she got all teary eyed because, you know, we just love this show and love these characters. So it's just such a cool experience and we're really excited so far. So, yay! These are the lines. Lots of people waiting to get in and see characters and see sets. Ooh, we're almost in. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, here we go. We're in. We are in. Oh, they take your pics right here. How cute. Oh my gosh, look at there's the little house. Oh, this is so amazing. My baby. They have this little covered wagon seat set up. Which is like, you know, what they would have been on and when they're filming. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Got photos of them on their little wagon seats. Oh gosh, I don't even know where to go first. Oh, I guess we follow the line, right? Let's do that. Look at this, they have costumes set up out here. So there's Nellie's costume. Miss Beetle. Got Hester Sue over here in the back.
lines to go look at the little classroom set. Oh! And I just keep taking a glance at the Ingalls house. I can't get over this. It's so amazing. I just really feel like I'm at their house. with portraits of the various actors who have passed already that were part of the show. Okay, so we just came out of that huge area where they had all of those interior sets set up. You get to see the super cool, like the, the costumes that they would wear on the show. Oh my gosh, I just feel like that was so well put on getting to walk through those sets was amazing um i tried to capture like as much as i could but it was kind of hard because there's so many people in there and like you know you only have a couple seconds in there to like look around get the, the pics that you're going to take and you just kind of got to keep moving i mean they let you look a little bit but it's you know there's a lot of people so they kind of want you to keep it moving so um it was a little bit hard but i tried to get a bunch of stuff for you guys to see uh, i just love that so much everything that they put into that you could tell that they really genuinely were like caring about making this look great and I thought they did a fantastic job. I really, really, really felt like I was standing there on some of those sets and I really, really, really felt like I was looking at the Ingalls house and uh, that was so nice. I'm just, honestly, like I'm happy that we did that first because now I feel like, okay, like I got my day in and it was amazing and I absolutely loved it. So now anything else is just cake. All right, so we found a table and have gotten some lunch. Ooh, those look good. So we got two chocolate plates and a quesadilla. Um, and we're just out here in the almost sunshine. The sun's kind of coming out. It's still a little cold, but it's not raining, so we're okay. My babies. All right, I'm headed over to the town square to see if I can get a seat because Almanza Wilder should be eating uh, in a few minutes, actually. A couple minutes, so... Hopefully we will get a chance to get a good spot and see. Good afternoon. So, start off by saying this this project started back in 2019, but really took on a life of its own in 2022 and built to this crescendo moment that we are in this weekend. It is the effort of literally dozens of people to get to this point where we have this incredible event and seeing all of you walk in here in the rain on a Saturday morning to be here with us is so incredible, it's so gratifying. I just imagine Michael Lynn and Kent McRae, our wonderful producer, looking down and saying the kids did all right. So we are headed into this little tent where they have festival merchandise. We have 50th Little House on the Prairie Anniversary merch. Got this cute looking sweatshirt here. How much is this stuff? Does it have a price anywhere? This cool Little House on the Prairie t-shirt. $25 for the shirt. I think this will hold oh my gosh, this is so cute. They have a remembrance book. So this is $14 for this little house remembrance book. I'm assuming it's just a little notepad. Yeah, just a little notepad. How cute is that though? Oh, I love that so much. It's adorable. 
some event tote bags over here. These are super cute. They have these authentic fairy dust. They're ten dollars each, or three for twenty-five dollars, and it's got a certificate of authenticity. It's actual dust from the movie set. I just saw these. Look at these cool tin cups. It's humongous. You could like cook some soup in that. All right, so this is what I got from the festival merchandise booth because I will definitely use a bookmark. Got this one for a dollar and I'm super happy with it. I'm getting some fabric and do some braiding. How fun, we're gonna go braid these. How's it looking so far? You like it, Evie? So out here at this little um, booth that we're at, Melissa Gilbert's husband's over here walking around. My mom just got a picture with him. He's just walking around talking to everybody. This is so cute. They're just teaching you about what it was like back on the prairie. Right now she's teaching about what the schoolhouse would have been like. I would like you to write your name. So when I say write your name, it's like writing your signature. So I'd like you to write your name in cursive if you are able to. In cursive is the sign of an educated mind. Simply because everything loops in cursive, and the way you're writing those loops causes the brain to make different kinds of connections. So you guys got it? Hold them up. Let me see. Hey, Jaden. Angelina? Susan B. Anthony. Hi! Hi, Susan B. Anthony here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. We'll be having a rally at 345. We'd love to have you there. We'll be discussing why women should have the right to vote. There'll be some speeches, and then there will be a parade through town. And we'd love to have you there cheering us on and participating. Please join us. Okay, we're going to make a quilt out of paper. How fun! This is so much fun. So they have this little quilting booth, and we're going to make a quilt with fabric on paper. Everybody else teaching them what a phone is. So is it a smaller version of that? It's much smaller, yes. Okay. They're asking him <laughs> what that is that he has, and he's trying to explain the phone. <laughs> How's it going, Evie? Good job. You gonna put more fabric? Which one? A pink one? Okay. Wow. Here they are, our completed little quilts. I can't believe how much fun that was. And Evie did her own. Look at how cute it looks. So much fun. So now we're headed over here in this direction. They have a little booth over here where you can make a doll. I think like a little fabric doll. So that's where we're headed over to now. Maybe a wooden a wooden peg doll. Let's see. Okay, so we're just waiting for her to tell us how to do it. Go ahead and pick one circle pro doll. Pick a dress. Let's pick a dress. A dress do Which like? dress do you want? You gotta pick one, baby. Take one. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. All right, here are our finished dollies. Let's see them, Evie. Here are our finished dolls. Mine is on the left, and Evie's is on the right. They're so cute, so much fun. I love it. We came to see Nellie Olson over here. She's doing a bit of a QA. and a Yeah, there was, there was something about being responsible for a guy getting shot. And I remember it was like the first two years we tried to be nice. And someone had a script where Nellie, through whatever stupid thing she's done, someone has now been shot. And they said, no, we can't do this, it's too much. And then like a couple years later, you know, we have the Sylvia episode. So clearly they stopped caring. But um, they used to really worry that we're going too far in the first season. So. What is your favorite off-screen memory? Now, Melissa and I became friends from the get-go, which is great. If you're playing mortal enemies, you really want to be friends, because that way when you're swinging punches, you know no one's getting hurt. They let us choreograph our own fights. It was great. We would have slumber parties and go to each other's houses on the weekend and hang out. And we were in the supermarkets. 
and we got in different aisles and people came up to her to tell her that I was in the store and did she need help to be protected from me. So we, we had a good time with that. All right, here is that was my favorite so far. They just had her act out some of her some of her famous lines from the series and it was so wonderful. She was so cute. I loved that so much. That just like made my day right now getting to see her do her Nellie Olsen lines. I loved that. There she goes. I'm not sure exactly where she's going, but she's off. Maybe going to a meet and greet. I'm not sure. Oh, that was so cute. All right, so got a quick pick me up because I feel like my energy is lagging a little bit and I feel like there's still a lot to do. They have Melissa Gilbert should be over here in this area in about 10-ish, 15 minutes. So I'm hoping to get to see her um, and the family went to go stand in line for the meet and greet with the cast. So I'm gonna try to see if I can see Melissa Gilbert and then I'll go meet them in the line for the cast. Maybe she'll be back over there, I don't know. But we'll see, somebody will be there. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony is leading a little march for women. That's so cute. They're saying votes for women and I think lifting as we climb. Good afternoon, everybody. So fun. There's Melissa Gilbert now. saw the house in the ground. I can still remember Pa and Mr. Hansen and how they walked and looked and talked and how we wondered what they said. I hate you. <laughs> Hardworking folks only smell bad to people who have nothing better to do than stick their noses in the air. Well, whenever you stick your nose in the air with me, Nellie Olson, it's going to get punched. <laughs> I give you the part. I give you the part. I, give you the I just got the roll. Alright, so we have come in where they're having the meet and greet. Um, we were hoping to meet Ma, but she did leave already for the day. Um, I was also hoping to meet Nellie but she, they've closed her line because she has too many people. We just made it out of that meet and greet area, which was um, kind of hectic. There was the various different lines everywhere. Some of them, they were closed by the time we got in there. Um, some of them weren't. So we did get to meet um, Miss Beetle. We met Nellie and got a photo with her, which I will go ahead and insert that picture here. And while we were standing there and waiting, Adam, Mary's husband Adam, he was leaving his booth and he came over and admired my little babies, my little sweetheart babies. So he came over and said hi to them and said how cute they were, which was so nice. And then we went and took a peek at Ma, Karen Grossel, because she was like still at her booth. She wasn't doing any more photos or anything, but she was like still right there. So we went to go look at her and I just got teary eyed because she just like beamed. Like she just had this most beautiful smile and she just looked like an angel. And I just, oh, I just loved it so much. And then the most amazing thing happened. Oh yeah. Are you excited because you met a famous person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most amazing thing happened. So, Ma was walking past us and I could not help myself. I just like yelled out, Ma, we love you. And I happened to be holding both my, my babies at the same time. So I had a twin in each arm. And she came over and just beamed at them that angelic beautiful positive happy smile that she has and she just touched their little hands and was saying how cute they were and 
Um, I showed her my oldest daughter and she just touched her little cheek and said how cute she was and just that whole experience. I will never forget that. That was amazing. That was so amazing and I just feel like I just saw like a member of my family who I haven't seen in a really long time and I made this is going to be probably the last time that I see them and it was just wonderful and I'm getting teary-eyed now even honestly that was just so amazing I absolutely love that and I'm gonna literally cherish that memory forever so that is oh, how we're ending our day here so I'm happy about that too it started off great it was amazing to see the set and it ended amazing with that beautiful interaction with Ma and just this entire experience I'm so happy that we got to come I'm so happy that we got to experience it um, yeah, I mean, it was fantastic. There were some things that I was a little bit upset because they had the Michael Landon, um, remembering Michael Landon panel was supposed to be today and I guess they, they moved that over to tomorrow. So I'm not gonna get to see that now because we're not coming back tomorrow. So that's a little like of, of a bummer to me. But I mean, we got to come and see Ma and have Ma meet my babies, so. That's okay. Um, I just love the whole thing. I hope you guys enjoy getting to see bits and pieces of this, especially if you're a Little House fan and weren't able to make it out to this festival. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and please leave a comment down below and subscribe um, if you enjoy my content and to see more. So thank you guys again and I'll see you next time. Bye.